What's the difference between type 1 and type 2 diabetes before we go to break? Sure. Well, type 1 diabetes that I mentioned quickly before is an autoimmune disease. There is an underlying predisposition genetically, but much, much less in type 1 than type 2. And an autoimmune disease in general means that something screwy has gone on in the body where attack cells literally start to destroy certain areas. So an autoimmune disease, for example, could be lupus or could be um, certain types of arthritis or could be certain types of cancers. And in the case of type 1 diabetes, the attack cells target the insulin-producing cells of the body. And practically, over a period of two to three years, literally wipe out the opportunity for those insulin cells to produce any insulin at all. So insulin, by injection, must be the treatment for type 1. Whereas type 2, depending on what's going on, which we'll have an opportunity, I'm mm -hmm. sure, to chat more, um, in type 2, there's lots of different things that we could try. Could be as simple as lifestyle changes, could be oral medications, could be injectables that are not insulin, and then, of course, could be insulin. Now, Louisa, keeping the risk factors for type 2 diabetes in mind, when should someone see a doctor? Well, don't rely on symptoms. Okay. <laughs> because we know over and over again, people will tell you, you know, but I feel perfectly fine. Fatigue is one of the first symptoms. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we, uh, we don't pay very close attention to being tired because there's always some excuse. So these are the American Diabetes Association guidelines that um, I content, you know, I, I disagree a little bit. You know, don't wait till 45 to see a physician. And if you're overweight, start much, much earlier right. than that. Um, and especially if you have a family history of diabetes.